I'm Dr. Rachel Dolan, a movement disorder specialist and vice president of medical communications at the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. Today I'll be talking about cognitive dysfunction and Parkinson's disease. Cognitive dysfunction is a non-motor symptom that can be associated with Parkinson's disease. It refers to an impairment of memory and or thinking abilities. It can occur at any stage in Parkinson's disease and range from mild to more severe. If significant problems happen, they're more likely to occur in the later stages of disease. Cognitive problems in Parkinson's typically involve what we call executive function. So this includes activities like multitasking, problem solving, planning, or organizing. Some people will also have difficulty with concentrating or finding their words when speaking, and others will experience short-term memory loss. If cognitive problems arise in Parkinson's disease, doctors will typically perform an evaluation including brain imaging and blood tests to exclude other conditions that can affect memory and thinking. Examples of these would be low thyroid or vitamin B12 deficiency. They'll also probably ask about depression and sleep problems as these too can impact memory and thinking. In some cases, they'll order formal, detailed memory testing, called neuropsychological testing, which can help determine where and what problems are happening, as well as establish a baseline for future comparison. Cognitive dysfunction in Parkinson's likely occurs due to a combination of both chemical and structural changes. Parkinson's can affect the brain chemicals that are responsible for memory and thinking abilities, as well as damage brain cells in areas that are responsible for these functions. If memory and thinking problems are out of proportion to what could be expected with normal aging, but they aren't severe enough to impact a person's ability to work, function in daily life, or interact in social situations, they may be diagnosed as mild cognitive impairment. There aren't currently any medications to treat mild cognitive impairment, so doctors will recommend adaptive strategies like keeping notes or relying on a calendar. It's also important to exercise regularly, interact with others in social situations, and do brain activities. You can read, do crossword puzzles, play cards, even pick up a new hobby like learning a new language or playing a new instrument. Mild cognitive impairment doesn't always get worse, but when memory and thinking problems are significant enough to impact a person's ability to work, do their daily activities at home, or interact in social situations, it might be diagnosed as dementia. Dementia and Parkinson's disease is treated with medications that work on the acetylcholine brain chemical pathway. An example of this would be Exelon or Rivastigmine, which is FDA approved to treat Parkinson's disease dementia. In some cases, doctors will also prescribe medications used for Alzheimer's dementia. An example of this would be Aricept or Dinepazil. Researchers are looking to determine exactly why cognitive dysfunction happens in Parkinson's disease, and at the same time, they're looking for better ways to diagnose, monitor, and treat these conditions. Current trials are investigating physical therapy, medications, aerobic exercise, and cognitive rehabilitation, which is basically like physical therapy for the brain. You can learn more about this and other topics in Parkinson's by visiting our website.